and uh, my dad uh, had a printing press for a few years and then uh, in 1965 we started a, a small store called Bangalore Book Bureau in the Kapali Theatre building okay. and uh, we were still kids, we were going to school and uh, my dad saw that uh, you know, all of us were interested in the book business, four brothers. So he said, I will expand the bookstore. So in 1977, we moved to uh, MG Road and the name of the store was changed from Bangalore Book Bureau to Gangaram's Book Bureau. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe for accounting purposes or what, I don't know. So since 1977, we were on Mahatma Gandhi Road. We started off with one floor with books and stationery. Then uh, later on, we a couple of years later, we separated the stationery from the book, book division. And the stationery division was called Gangaram Gallery, which was run by my brother, who was now retired. And I run the bookstore with my father. And uh, in, in 2007, he passed away. And uh, since then, I've been running the bookstore by myself. Of late, business has been slow because of online, because of e-books, because of Kindle, stuff like that. And we are still trying to survive and we don't want to, don't want to uh, you know, uh, kill a brand. We have built it for so many years. So we are uh, in the book business and we continue to be there. But things have become very difficult for bookstores because uh, the first thing an online company does is uh, targets the bookstore. Yeah. And then once they have a mailing list, they try to sell you other things like laptops and mobiles. And today, uh, uh, today, online business is doing extremely well. Tell me more yeah. about the bookstore in terms yeah. of uh, what's the footfall you have here usually? See, the initially, kind of people yeah. who come, Correct. because I also understand yeah. uh, Ganga Rams is one of the few places in Bangalore that deals Correct. with all kinds of books, Correct. right? That's from right. educational Correct. books. So, Correct. a lot Correct. of us growing in Bangalore Correct. have started coming here at a very early age where Correct. we come for Julius Caesar Correct. textbooks exactly. and uh, exactly. that sort of a thing. Exactly. And then it moves on to also discovering that you have a whole selection of different books. kinds of Correct. books. Correct. Now, um, when we started in 1977 on Mahatma Gandhi Road, <coughs> we had one floor of books and stationery. A couple of years ago, we took another floor and separated stationery from books. Later on, what we did, we separated general books from academic books. So basically, we had two floors of books, one catering to general books, one mm -hmm. to the academic books. And business was equal, equally good on both floors. Because when you're buying a 500 rupee book, you could sell 10 books of 50 rupees each. Yeah. So the volume was the same, the book business was good. Until 2007, when uh, online companies the came into the business, the uh, business was a dropping because of online company, because of e-books and stuff like that. And uh, so uh, initially when we started selling books, the, uh, the, the, uh, the book business was not very good in 1977 because we already had on MG Road International Book House, which was mm -hmm. there for donkey's years. Then there was Higgin Bottoms, which are there for donkey's years. And then, uh, so there were two already reputed bookshops on Mahatma Gandhi Road when we started on the first floor. So these two bookstores said, we have been here for so many years and now you come on MG Road and start on the first floor, who is going to come to your store? You know? Yeah. Because those days traffic was not there, people, not too many people. So, you know, people said, how will you survive? We are paying 5,000 rupees rent for one floor. Whereas, you know, books cost 20 rupees, 30 rupees. Those books were not expensive those days. You could buy a fiction for 25 rupees. Mm -hmm. So we said, no, we wanted to try it. And, you know, so we slowly uh, understood what people wanted. And we were into more, more into com uh, 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 customer service. We did not want the people to just come and buy what we have. We wanted them to, we wanted to give them what they want. We believe that we should have a complete range. And uh, we have made ourselves stronger with backlist or in the book business backlist is, for example, a new John Grisham is coming today. People will come and buy the John Grisham, but there are people who will say, I want to read the earlier books. Okay. Nobody used to stop them because they only want to sell the bestseller. Yeah. So we believe in uh, uh, having a very good uh, backlist stock, you know, mm -hmm. and because now, for example, you, uh, when, you're, uh, when you have a kid, you read baby and child care. That's a Bible. When you read a grammar, you're not a grammar book in school, you only go for Renan Martin. Yeah. What we used to do is, along with Renan Martin, we used to keep a few other grammar books. Mm -hmm. Along with Baby and Child Care, we would keep a few more books. But there are always people who want to uh, we'll explore, the other explore and they want to read something more than what is already recommended. So, this is how we have grown our book business. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, by stocking, giving the variety of selection of books to the customer. We just don't want to give him what he wants. We want to tell him that there are more books on the topic. Mm -hmm. That is how we have grown. And we are quite happy with it. 
and we also attend book fairs abroad so you know we know what is selling abroad what mm -hmm. is not selling which author is being paid how much money how many copies have been sold no. quite a few authors who are doing Did very well there is john grisham there is sydney sheldon there is uh, um, you know uh, um, uh, this other author george r r martin there are so many authors which are doing extremely well today but the thing is we don't see those uh, numbers because we cannot compete with these online yeah. companies they want to offer more discount than we can offer they don't want to door deliver the book so it's very difficult to compete with them so we have cut down our uh, this one interest on uh, stocking bestsellers mm -hmm. we would rather sell their backlist than concentrate on the bestseller best yeah. so that is basically what uh, our uh, usp is that we get you what you want and we would like to give you only what you want you, you so yeah. many years yeah. uh, i'm yeah. sure you would have met a lot of interesting people yeah. and uh, yeah. Maybe yeah. amusing people also Correct, sometimes. Absolutely. Can you share a few uh, stories? Maybe no, something the, special that you remember. Uh, in, uh, I, in my opinion, book trade is a noble profession. Mm -hmm. So you only meet uh, really good people, learned people, literate people, and over the years, lot of people have come and seen and go away. Because, and, uh, Ramchandra Guha is a local guy. He comes regularly. There are quite a few authors who come, and nowadays with these big publishers in Delhi. the current big publishers like Simon Schuster Random House Penguin they have offices in India mm -hmm. so what they are doing is they are getting authors from abroad and going to each city to promote a book you know so nowadays we see lots of authors like almost every day we get some author from the other author because there are so many publishers mm -hmm. people come and say we are promoting this author but the customer the author will come sign a copy or sign a few things and then just read a book for 15 days you know okay. i would rather uh, know what is selling what is not selling what If a person buys, for example, Gandhi Jivan, he wants to read a similar book. I would like to know that what is the book which I can mm -hmm. recommend to people. You know, so you know, it's just that I don't have the patience to read a book. I've never been a reader, and I've never good in school. So, but you know, my knowledge of book business is very wide because I've also spent a few years in the book business in in the U.S. to understand how and why books are selling so That's many. Right. So many books are selling in the U.S. is main i just wanted to understand how and mm -hmm. how it uh, you know so i spent a few years just to understand and uh, with that experience we are able to do whatever we can with the contacts and stuff like that so you will always find that customers will swear saying that if i don't find the book at gangaram it will not be available there we have earned that reputation mm -hmm. because we have we have wide knowledge of how the book business work and stuff like that and regularly we get people who say i have written a book and i want to publish a book right so we are able to guide them but another thing is that when a person writes a book he says i want to go to the best publisher mm -hmm. today it's very difficult because these foreign publishers who are in india have so much of books to reprint in india that the priority is not for indian yeah. but nowadays with a lot of indian authors like chetan bhagat and salman rushdi and so many divakarni chitra banerjee there are so many good indian authors that Pub the publishers abroad have said we have to encourage yeah. new authors some may click some may not click out But of 10 one may click yeah. so that one book which clicks may be printed in the uk it may be printed in the uk so it mm -hmm. go to australia it go to india uh, my my advice to readers is general is to go out to bookshops see what is available and you you don't have to book, go to a bookshop just to buy the book which you want they should come and see what else is available in the market like we have grown by giving us choice to customers Like a little baby and child, or a married man, or a Renan Martin. We would like youngsters to come to bookshops and see if I'm reading Percy Jackson. What else is there in that genre where we can I can read a different book? Mm -hmm. You know. So my only thing is that I can understand if you want a particular new title of Percy Jackson, you order it online, you get it at cheapest price. But the thing is, you should go out and see what else is available. Nowadays, school libraries also. I don't know uh, how how good the school libraries are. Uh, how uh, they are they are equipped uh, uh, but you know keep uh, school should spend more money on books and uh, you know uh, the kids should come out to bookshops and see them and then you know stuff like that so thank you, yeah. thank you so much sure, for talking to sure, us sure, uh, we sure, hope sure. you will join sure. us next Definitely, time and gangarams will sure. be a, a part pleasure. of the and i'm glad you are time. doing this thing because you need more people like you to come to the bookshops and explore them and you know see what is available so that you can tell your people that you know you need to go out you're not just getting the book you you want go out and see what is available today there's so much talent whether it is india or uk or the us and you know you learn so much from i have learned so much from so we did a test bookshop crawl today and we walked along
the same way that we'll be doing tomorrow, Sunday, the 5th June. Um, it's been exciting to see lovely editions of books we've all grown up reading. Um, a heads up is that Ganga Rams and Higginbottoms will not be a part of the first bookshop crawl that we have, as Ganga Rams is closed on Sundays and Higginbottoms is under renovation. But we hope that these two legendary bookstores will be a part of our crawl in the future. Make sure to look out on our page, and for those of you who are joining us tomorrow, we're super.